Hello and welcome to part four of the Invaders style video game using processing P5JS. So far we have our one alien in the top right corner or top left corner. We have our player that can move left and right and if we press the S key on our keyboard we can fire a rocket which returns back to the player. However if I fire the rocket at my alien the alien does not disappear. So what we need to do today is we need to make a collision where when the rocket intersects the alien, it hits the alien, the alien disappears, and then down the road we'll add points and sound effects and all those fun things. But the big thing is that the alien knows that it was hit, it disappears, and then the rocket returns back to the player to fire again. So to do that, we actually have to talk about what a collision would look like. And I'm just going to grab my little pen here and draw my alien rectangle. So this is my alien. We know that the center of the alien is a one X comma a one Y. We also know that the alien, if I just divide this into four quadrants, the aliens total width is 40 and its total height is 40. Now the reason we need to know this is because the rocket has to, the alien needs to know that the rocket hit it even if the rocket hits it here or in the center or here or here or here. So it's important for us to know the entire size, the entire area of our alien or else if we only coded when the rocket hit the alien, say, X and Y position, that means that you have to hit the alien dead center with the rocket, one pixel in size. And that's virtually impossible. So if we know our entire width and height and we know our center position, we can figure out the position of this left side, right side, top side, and bottom side, and say that if the rocket is anywhere within this area, then the alien should disappear. So here's what those positions are. Because we know the size, I know that this here is 20, and this is 20, and this is 20, and this is 20, because I can divide 40 by two and get 20, 20 for the top quadrant, bottom quadrant, same for its width. Which means that the actual position all the way around this top wall is going to be a one y minus 20 because the center is a one y the distance from the center to the edge is 20 because 40 divided by 2 is 20 so therefore this will always be a one y minus 20. likewise this down here will always be a one y plus 20. this will be a one x minus 20 and this will be a one x plus 20. Then we can say that if our rocket is greater than or equal to this wall, but less than or equal to this wall, the rocket has to be somewhere in between here and here, so therefore it's in the x position, the x quadrant of this player. If it's greater than or equal to this wall, but less than or equal to this wall, and if it's greater than here, and less than here, and greater than here, and less than here, it has to be somewhere inside of our player. So therefore, it's intersecting the object, and the object should go boom. So let's go ahead and start to do our very large if statement. We're gonna do this in draw. We don't actually need any new variables. We're gonna do this in draw. And I'm just gonna make a new subsection here with my comment called collisions between rocket and aliens. And we're going to do exactly what we just said. So it's going to be if r1x is greater than or equal to a1x minus, we said that the number was 20, so I can type in 20, or I could even type in a width divided by 2, because a width divided by 2 is the same thing. The nice thing about typing a width divided by 2 is if you change the size of your aliens down the road, it'll automatically up update this if statement for you, which is kind of nice. And end, r1x is less than or equal to a1x 
plus a width divided by 2. That's the x direction. Now y, so n and r1 y is greater than or equal to a1 y minus a height divided by 2. And, and r1 y is less than or equal to a1 y plus a height divided by 2. Hit alien rock, or I can just say collision between rocket and alien. Great. Well, what do we want to do? Well, we want to add points. We haven't done the scoreboard yet, so we'll just put a comment. And then we want the alien to disappear. How do we make the alien disappear? Well, let's just move them off the screen. What if we just said a1x is equal to negative 1,000? Negative 1,000 is way off of our screen. Send alien off screen. Now we have to say the rocket has to return home. So we'll say r1 position equals 2 because we know that the reposition 2 from the last video means return to home. Send rocket back to player. We already did that in the third part. Close, hit, alien. Okay. Let's give this a try. I push play. I move under my alien. I push S. Alien disappears. Rocket goes back. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and add a scoreboard so we can see how many points we get every time we hit an alien.